Hey Spooky Cats, Spooky Cat Lady here, and today we're going to be discussing all the cool phone apps there are for ghost hunting. All those nice apps I have found. So as you can see, I do have the ones that people use a lot. Ghost Tube, uh, Necrophonic, Spirit Talker, but I don't really use those seriously. We are currently testing them to see if they're if they work. We're going to 10 locations, five are haunted, five are not haunted, and there is an extra one where people have passed away. But there's no stories about it being haunted. So technically 11, and we've been using the exact same questions at every location to see if there's a difference. Are there more relevant responses when we're in a haunted places versus a non-haunted place? Um, so far, not seeing a difference. And we'll be putting those results out very soon. But I want to discuss apps that are actually useful for ghost hunting. And as you can see on my phone, we have the usuals. I have the infrared app on here um, that you have to have the FLIR uh, infrared. So unless you have that device, that is not going to help you. I have a sound meter. So I am going to get a sound meter that has a logger in it soon. But until then, if you're on a budget and you want to ghost hunt, but you want to do real ghost hunting, there is a sound meter and you could you could uh, record your screen have the sound meter on and put it somewhere and see if it picks up anything there is an EMF detector app on here that is more for getting making sure the place isn't flooded with EMF not to actually talk to ghosts so you can use an EMF on your phone I also have a frequency generator, so some people believe frequencies will annoy ghosts and get them all stirred up or demons or whatever. So you can use a frequency app to wake them up, I guess. And it can also make that frequency of 19 hertz, which you can't hear, but it's supposed to make you feel like ghosts. I am looking for an infrasound, some a way to detect infrasound. Right now I can create it, I just can't detect it. Now Ear Scout is interesting. I haven't really gotten to use it on location yet. I can't wait to use it on location. It enhances sound and I, if I use my really good microphone, that is an excellent app to use for ghost hunting. Um, you'll want some really nice uh, earphones to listen and see if you hear any interesting voices and also screen record it so that you have it documented then we have a light meter so if there's shadows if you see lights shadows um, the light meter is going to actually detect if the lighting went down if the lighting went up and if it changes significantly then that is something so a light meter an excellent app for real ghost hunting. I also have an app that shows all the sensors on the phone. A vibration sensing, um, also has light meter. It detects um, electromagnetic waves. So you can bring that up with it running and screen record it. And that is an excellent way to do some real ghost hunting to see if you see any kind of spikes or anything interesting. And then we have um, Redbox. Now Red Redbox is interesting. It's like a national thing where they are studying infrasound. So it's supposed to detect and record infrasound and then we'll put those results. You can upload it and to a national thing and it will make um, reports and stuff for you about infrasound. I did do a test where I had it quiet in the house and then I played a video that has the 19 hertz infrasound and it does change, but I'm still trying to f learn how to read it. So if I'm in a non-controlled location, I can, I can know if it's infrasound or not. My knowledge is 
limited. <laughs> but yeah, so Redbox, an excellent app to have for ghost hunting. And we also have Physics Toolbox, which is a good one. It is very much like the sensors one. It just shows it in a different format. So check that one out and see what it is like. It's a good one. It, it just has all the sensors that are on your phone and shows all their readings. So it has a light meter, vibration, electromagnetic, um, Wi-Fi signals, all that kind of stuff. So you can screen record it and have it for uh, evidence of ghosts and of course we got chat GPT app on here that one is good for getting information so you can go to a location and talk to chat GPT and get information whether it's haunted what the ghost stories are it can search the entire web and find all the information and even tell you whether those stories are legitimate or not you know newspaper articles or anything proving what is being said so our experiment with um, the apps like Ghost Tube, Spirit Talker, Necrophonic, we're still doing it. I got to compile data. We'll have uh, a leniency of 20% chance because we have, have had some interesting um, responses like when we were in Point Pleasant and it just came up with the answer 46, which is the exact amount of people who unfortunately passed away when the bridge collapsed and other times when I've asked questions like honey do you want to eat out or do you want to go home and the app goes go home like it's actually answering so there's always that 20% coincidence chance that you have to mathematically figure in and then we've been recording all the responses to see how many are direct how many are um, indirect how many are random and how many times we ask a question and nothing <laughs> and yeah it's not looking good for the apps so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you check out those apps they are all free you do have to pay to get rid of ads but a lot of them aren't that expensive some of them are and it's more realistic ghost hunting using those apps than using the other ones. So take care and I'll see you later. Bye. all those nice apps I have found. So as you can see, I do have the ones that people use a lot. Ghost Tube, uh, Necrophonic, Spirit Talker, but I don't really use those seriously. We are currently testing them to see if they're, if they work. We're going to 10 locations, five are haunted, five are not haunted and there is an extra one where people have passed away but there's no stories about it being haunted so technically 11 and we've been using the exact same questions at every location to see if there's a difference are there more relevant responses when we're in a haunted places versus a non-haunted place um so far not seeing a difference and we'll be putting those results out very soon. But I want to discuss apps that are actually useful for ghost hunting. And as you can see on my phone, we have the usuals. I have the infrared app on here um, that you have to have the FLIR uh, infrared 
so unless you have that device that is not going to help you i have a sound meter so i am going to get a sound meter that has a logger in it soon but until then if you're on a budget and you want a ghost hunt but you want to do real ghost hunting there is a sound meter and you could you could uh record your screen have the sound meter on and put it somewhere and see if it picks up anything there is an EMF detector app on here that is more for get, making sure the place isn't flooded with EMF not to actually talk to ghosts. So you can use an EMF on your phone. I also have a frequency generator. So some people believe frequencies will annoy ghosts and get them all stirred up or demons or whatever. So you can use a frequency app to wake them up, I guess. And it can also make that frequency of 19 hertz, which you can't hear, but is supposed to make you feel like ghosts. I am looking for an infrasound, some a way to detect infrasound. Right now I can create it, I just can't detect it. Now, Ear Scout is interesting. I haven't really gotten to use it on location yet. I can't wait to use it on location. It enhances sound. And I, if I use my really good microphone, that is an excellent app to use for ghost hunting. Um, you'll want some really nice uh, earphones to listen and see if you hear any interesting voices. And also screen record it so that you have it documented. Then we have a light meter. So if there's shadows, if you see lights, shadows... Um, the light meter is going to actually detect if the lighting went down, if the lighting went up, and if it changes significantly, then that is something. So a light meter, an excellent app for real ghost hunting. I also have an app that shows all the sensors on the phone. Uh, vibration sensing um, also has a light meter. It detects... Um, electromagnetic waves so you can bring that up with it running and screen record it and that is an excellent way to do some real ghost hunting to see if you see any kind of spikes or anything interesting and then we have um red fox now red red fox is interesting it's like a national thing where they are studying infrasound so it's supposed to detect and record infrasound and then we'll put those results you can upload it and to a national thing and it will make um, reports and stuff for you about infrasound. I did do a test where I had it quiet in the house and then I played a video that has the 19 hertz infrasound and it does change. But I'm still trying to learn how to read it so if I'm in a non-controlled location I can, I can know if it's infrasound or not. My knowledge is limited <laughs> but yeah so red box an excellent app to have for ghost hunting and we also have fix it physics toolbox which is a good one it is very much like the sensors one it just shows it in a different format um so check that one out and see what it is like it's a good one it, it just has all the sensors that are on your phone and shows all their readings so it has the light meter vibration electromagnetic um, Wi-Fi signals all that kind of stuff so you can screen record it and have it for uh, evidence of ghosts and of course we got chat GPT app on here that one is good for getting information so you can go to a location and talk to Jack chat gpt and get information whether it's haunted what the ghost stories are it can search the entire web and find all the information and even tell you whether those stories are legitimate or not whether there's any you know newspaper articles or anything proving what has been said so our experiment with um the apps like ghost tube spirit talker necrophonic we're still doing it i gotta compile data we'll have 
uh, a leniency of 20% chance because we have, have had some interesting um, responses like when we were in Point Pleasant and it just came out with the answer 46, which is the exact amount of people who unfortunately passed away when the bridge collapsed. And other times when I've asked questions like, honey, do you want to eat out or do you want to go home? And the app goes, go home, like it's actually answering. There's always that 20% coincidence chance that you have to mathematically figure in. And then we've been recording all the responses to see how many are direct how many are um, indirect, how many are random, and how many times we ask a question and nothing. <laughs> and yeah, it's not looking good for the apps. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you check out those apps. They are all free. You do have to pay to get rid of ads, but a lot of them aren't that expensive. Some of them are and it's more realistic ghost hunting using those apps than using the other ones so take care and i'll see you later bye